Good afternoon, everyone. <clears throat> My name is Scott Schilling, and I am the CTO of MTusker. So today we are going to look at some basic workflow. Uh, workflow is very powerful stuff. Can help you drive your company as to you know alerts and emails that automatically will happen for you. So let's just dive right in. So I'm going to click over here on Power Tools. Now you see in Power Tools we have uh, templates, which is what we're going to talk about today. Workflow, of course, our import wizard, our report writer. We will talk about that in another uh, in another video. Field control, another video, and the financial control component. Obviously, that's another video. So let's just start here with our basic workflow. So workflow is paired up with a template. So the first thing we're going to do is grab us, go to the templates. Uh, as you can see, I have many, many of them here, but I'm going to start with add new. And I'm going to say uh, the name of this template is going to be new task created for you. All right. Now the template type we're going to use for in this scenario, we're going to say, OK, I'm going to create a an email. All right. So. The record type is going to be, I'm going to scroll down through all the various different record types and select the task. Then I'm going to say, okay, let's give this a, uh, a certain type of, let's call it a task, CRM task notification. So that's going to be my category. The categories are very helpful for when you try to uh, set these things up. All right, so let's go back to task notification. We have the task. Now, when you select the record type, all right, right here, the variable name, okay, these are the available names of things that come with the record type task. So let's just, I'll, I'll, let's just talk about these. I'll show you how it works. So the subject line of my email is going to be, uh, let's say, assign to, that's whoever you sign this to. So we'll copy this and we'll put it here. Assign to, you have been assigned a new task. All right, so we'll say, in the in the body of the text we'll say please log on to mtusker and review all right we'll keep it simple say the task description is then we go to our variable and we find the description uh, description now put the cursor right here hit this little guy right there and it'll drop in so i'm going to hit pause here i'm going to go ahead and fill this out and then i'll come back all right we're almost done so i'm going to bring it back on here the the due date is okay and we'll say all right due date click here and we got our create dates, which is due date, boom, right there. Okay, go ahead and bring this down. And then I'll say thank you. Thanks, good enough. All right, so I've given it a name. I gave it the template type, which is an email. You can do alerts, which are over here. You can see I have a couple of alerts there. Email, email and notification. The notification, which would be right here. A reminder, which is this little guy with a finger um, and a string on his finger, and a task. So you can create a task. You can either create tasks, reminders, notifications, emails, whatever it is you're looking for. For this one, we're just going to create a task. I mean, an email. All right, I'm going to hit pause. Next is to set up the workflow itself. So power tools, go to workflow. And I'm going to do add new. Let me say rule name. 
uh, new task assigned. I can come back and be a lot more verbose. The record type is going to be task. Now, this is key. Make sure that the record type on your template and the record type on the workflow match. We'll say workflow category is, oh, we'll just call this basic CRM. Okay, I'm gonna add this table on the fly. All right, basic CRM. I'm going to go to next. So to, to trigger a workflow, in other words, to make it actually happen, you can set it to happen when it's created, or you can trigger it when it's edited. So this is a good way of, for notifications. Um, if a ticket, if a task has not been edited within a certain amount of time, you want to know that. Create or edit, this is both, and this is, or time action. Time action. This particular time action is for active workflow. In other words, the, the system will go look for something, and that runs at 6 a.m. Eastern time. That's once a day. Next is, what are we going to do here? So it's going to be the record type is email. The template that we've got here, remember, we had, because it was a task, here we go, new task is running for you. I'm going to say it's, we're going to send it to the person who, that it's assigned to. You can send it to various different user groups. All right, folks, I've gone ahead and added Brad over here. You can see his mug right here. So he is going to create a task um, for me so we can demonstrate how this works. So I'm only going to just say, all right, I'm just going to be to the assigned to person. So I'm going to hit next. So I'm going to say, all right, let's, uh, any kind of filters or optional conditions. So I'm going to say status, I'll select status here, is assigned, I'm going to say actually a little bit old. I'm going to say in, which gives you the ability to do multiple ones, assigned behind, um, or in progress. That way I make sure that if the, if the person who, sets up the task as a sign or in progress it'll catch both so now i'm going to hit save all right all right brad go ahead and uh, and add that task and let's see if i get an email no problem uh, i have just uh, associated an account to a task i've given the task a brief short description I've assigned the task to Scott uh, in a status of assigned, and I'm going to go ahead and I've typed in some notes about what I would like him to do, and I'm going to go ahead and click save. All right, go ahead. All right, so it should pop up here in my email fairly quickly. There it is, presto. So I'm going to click on that. So remember, when we set up the, the, the template, I said, okay, um, who are you? It said, a task is going to be assigned. I said, okay, here is the description. We need to change the CRR, et cetera, et cetera. Here's the task number. Here's the account, cattle keep. Here's the due date. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you put together a basic workflow. And I apologize for creating the long eight-minute nine minute uh, video to demonstrate that, but that's how you do it. Thank you very much.